Now for the last part, part D, we've got to work out the probability that a random variable x lies between minus 0.2 and 0.6. And all this is, is essentially the area in here, in this rectangle, if you like, between minus 0.2 and 0.6. So if I was to draw this on, let's just imagine that that is the value minus 0.2, just mark that in, minus 0.2, and 0.6 just over here. I know it's not drawn to scale, but it just gives me a bit of room to draw this in. So we're just trying to find that area there. That represents the probability. So it's going to equal the area of that rectangle. One ninth is the height. As for the length of it, 0.6, plus 0.2 times 0.8. Okay, so 1 ninth times 0.8 gives you 8 over 90 as a fraction, or you could reduce that down to 4 over 45, or give an equivalent decimal, either will do. Okay, so there you go. That's how I would work out that probability.